hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be showing us how to make a yummy delicious afang soup if you have been watching my videos you will know that afang soup is a favorite so guys i'm going to share my recipe with you guys today now the first thing you want to do is add your washed proteins to your pot and then you're going to season it i use no to season my proteins for my soup then i went in with some salt and of course my blended scotch bonnet and onion puree i blended this puree because it gives the proteins a nice taste and it just takes it to a higher level you should try that out best is you're just going to put some onions and pepper in a blender and blend and that's just it i'm, I'm going to allow this to cook for some time before we come back to it you want to make sure your proteins are well cooked before you go in with the next step. Now it's time for more proteins. I'm eating with some dry fish. This fish is called Mbasa my language. Please let me know what it is called in your language in the comment section. I also went in with some pomo. I had this pomo aboard already, so it is soft. I went in with some smoked catfish. And I'm just going to give that a quick step before I go in with another round of my pepper puree and some crayfish, guys. You have to be generous with your crayfish. Please be generous with your crayfish for your soup. I'm going to give that a quick step and let all this cook in together. I also blended some of the mbasa and I added it to this recipe. This just takes the taste to a higher level. Please, if you're watching this video and you've not subscribed to my channel or followed my page, I have, I implore you to do that because, guys, I have a lot of recipes for you. Now, you want to let that cook till the water is almost dried up, and then you're going to go in with your water leaf. Make sure your water leaf has no water because. The water in the leaf is just going to come out from nowhere. Allow that to cook for 5 to 7 minutes and you're going to give it a quick stir so everything mixes up properly. So today I want to send a shout out to Rachel from Potakot. I saw your comment on our last video and I want to say thank you for watching. I love the support and I'm grateful for that. After the water leaf, you're going to want to stir in everything after which i'm going to go in with some extra seasoning some salt and of course more crayfish i told you guys be generous with your crayfish for this recipe you're not gonna regret it i'm just going to stir that in and allow it to cook for some time before i add the blended afan leaves you want to make sure your afan leaves are clean before you blend them now this is where it gets all mixed up once you add the afan leaves you want to go in with some extra crayfish again besties add that crayfish now go in with your oil immediately you don't want to stir in the afan before adding the oil you have to stir that in after adding the oil this is a pro tip for this recipe you just elevate the the taste from 70 to 100 in two seconds <laughs> afang is a very nutritious and delicious meal and it is not hard to make guys i hope with this recipe you've been able to learn how to make afang soup from the comfort of your home you want to add more oil because the oil is actually the water of the soup you have to be generous with that so your soup cooks well and it doesn't taste sour you can also go in with some dry pepper guys if you feel the scotch bonnet is not giving you what you want i'm just going to give that a quick stir and now afang soup is ready to serve what salo are you going to be taking this week please let me know in the comment section now we're just going to let this simmer for one to two minutes before we bring it down and that is it guys very easy Please let me know if you enjoyed watching this video your support means so much to me like share and follow for more if i don't give you recipes who will bye guys